today's governorship election across Nigeria. Before our interview for today, let's take some developments in the polity. The governorship candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, in the just-concluded governorship election in Taraba State, Professor Sani Yahaya, has alleged that the poll was manipulated in favor of the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, retired Colonel Kepasabu. Addressing journalist in Jalingo, the state capital, Professor Yahya said he is proceeding to court to reclaim his mandate as there were overwhelming evidence of electoral malpractice in the March 18 election. Correspondent Owola Biadenusi files in this report. It was a keenly contested governorship election in Taraba State among candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP. The returning officer of the election in the state, Professor Mohamed Ahmed, announced that the PDP candidate, retired Colonel Kefas Agbu, met the legal requirement to be declared winner. Agbu scored 257,926 votes to defeat Professor Sani Yaya of the NNPP, who pulled 202,277 votes. That Kefas Agbu of uh, PDP, having satisfied the requirement has as, as, as here be, uh, by declared the winner and is drawn elected. The announcement did not go down well with the NNPP governorship candidate who expressed his dissatisfaction with the results at the press briefing in Jalingo. Professor Yahya urged his supporters and people of the state to stay calm and eschew violence as he explores legal means to reclaim his mandate. You have seen our result. But after the petitions result in few local government that were delivered yesterday, the result has changed to what we have uh, to, to upside down. The state governor, Darius Shishako, the APC governorship candidate, Senator Emmanuel Boacha, and many <clears throat> and others congratulated Agbu for his victory in the polls. First and foremost, I want to appeal to all Taramans. We did the election peacefully. Announcement of results were achieved peacefully. I'll beg everybody in the name of God not to start any rank. Everything that was done was transparent. To gather here today for yet another press briefing, this time to congratulate the governor-elect, Lieutenant Colonel, Abu Kefas, PhD, retired on his resounding victory at the March 18 polls. Without doubt, Lieutenant Colonel Kefas swept the election with over 257,000 votes to emerge winner. The battle for the next governor of Taraba State will now shift from the ballot box to the courts. On our interview for today, we will be speaking with the governor-elect in Taraba State, retired Colonel Kefa Sabu, on the PDP's victory in the state and the challenge of governors. Let's take some development to the policy and we will be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Politics Tonight, digging beyond the headlines. And now to our interview with the guest of the day. I'm now joined by the governor-elect of Taraba State, retired Colonel Kefa Sabu, on the PDP's victory in the state and the challenge of governors. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. All right, let me start by Thank congratulating you, you on electoral victory. Uh, Victory. Uh, just before the election, you were here to reel out your intention and how you intend to govern Taraba State. Now the victory is here. Uh, how will you react to PDP's success in the election? Retired Colonel, uh, if you can hear me, I would like to congratulate you on your electoral victory and also how will you react to PDP's success in the election? Uh, 
All right, uh, we'll have to take a break and we'll be right back. Please stay with us. All right, then. Uh, before we go on that break, let's take uh, some story shaping the polity. It's barely three days after the Independent National Electoral Commission concluded uh, the governorship and state house of assembly elections in 28 states of the federation and so far the commission has announced the results of the governorship election in 24 states the all progressives congress has governors elect from 15 states while the people's democratic party candidates in eight states were declared winner the NNPP retained its lead in Kano State as it did in the presidential election. The election in Adamawa and Kebi were declared inconclusive, while the electoral umpire suspended further collation of results in Abia and Enugu State to douse the tension in those areas where there were disputes in the collation exercise. And as Zanfara, the PDP candidate, Dada Lawa, was declared her Mr. Lawa's call. 377,726 votes to defeat the incumbent governor, Philo Matawale, of the All Progressives Congress, who set it for 311,976 votes. Political party agents at the Collation Center, except the APC, are satisfied with the outcome of the results. The APC agents insist the results of the last two local governments are contentious and the party will challenge uh, the outcome in court. This is the second time opposition party would defeat incumbent governor in Zamfara State. In 2011, former governor Mahmouda Shinkafi of the PDP was defeated by former governor Abdulaziz Yari of the ANPP. Number four, that Lawal Dauda of political party PDP having satisfied the requirement of the law is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Uh, welcome to the program, retired Colonel Kefas Agu. Now, let me start by congratulating you, you on your electoral victory. Like I said before, you were on this show just before the election uh, to bring out your intention and how you intend to govern the people of Taraba State if elected. Now that the victory is here, how will you react to PDP's success in the election? Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, my gratitude goes to the Almighty God for uh, the gift of life and the victory. Uh, I'm happy that uh, PDP has continued to maintain uh, this momentum of uh, always win. So I believe that uh, whatever uh, um, we need to do for Taraba, everybody will benefit from it. So uh, I'm happy that we won the election. All right, so looking at the entire process uh, of the election, how would you describe INEX's performance? All right, uh, retired Colonel, I was asking how, do you, how would you react to um, our next performance in, in the election? Mm. All right, uh, let's bring you more political stories. Uh, the People's Democratic Party governorship candidate, uh, Simila Nayo Fubara, has been declared the winner of the River State governorship election. And I'm seeing the result in Port Harcourt, the returning officers Fubara scored 302,000. 614 votes, while Tonya Cole of the All Progressives Congress came second with 95,274 votes. Joseph Kunde has details. After waiting for hours on end at the collation center, State Returning Officer Professor Akbafuri Rimruka, the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Petroleum, Efru, announces Simila Nayi Fubara of the People's Democratic Party as the winner of the River State Governorship election, pulling a total of 302,614 votes. Fubara Similae of the PDP, having scored the highest votes and had the 25% spread with satisfactory margin of lead, is yet as required, having satisfied the requirement of the law, is hereby declared the winner 
and is return elected. The pronouncement by the returning officer is met with mixed feelings from some party agents present and observers alike. We must thank God, we dedicate the victory to God Almighty for the success of this election. And uh, the governor elect Sassim Fubara, Similae Fubara, we believe uh, him being a hard working man, a disciplined man, that he will deliver the dividend of democracy to reverse people. Uh, the party is not going to let this low. We are going to escalate it. We are going to take it off from here. Everybody, every sane Nigerian know that what happened in River State was not a policy, it's not, it's not election. This is a fabrication. This is an allocation of figures. We are not going to take it in connivance with security agencies. As a political party, we are rejecting that result. It, is, it does not in any way reflect the collective wish of River's people. That was a written report handed down to INEC and the returning officer to announce. I can't sign that kind of result. That was not a result. Drama, drama from yesterday. At about 2 o'clock this afternoon, we had to stay for seven hours and we had to witness a number of adjournments coming through severally over and over again. But eventually, the returning officer, the professor, has actually announced it and PDP has been declared the winner from the side. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Port Harcourt. In another development, River State's Governor Gerson Wike has described the victory of the People's Democratic Party in the governorship election as historic. He reacted to INEC's announcement of the final result while celebrating with other party leaders at the government house in Port Harcourt. Senior reporter Okura has details. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's move on with our interview. Uh, Retired Kefa Sabu, uh, if you can hear me, I would like you to describe INEC's performance in the elections. How will you react to it? Uh, thank you very much. I think um, from my experience of previous election, uh, INEC has performed very excellently in this very election. To be very, very honest, they've done what they're supposed to do, and they deserve to be commend, commended for that. All right, now that you've won. They... OK, please go ahead. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that the election was free, credible, and fair. All right, now that you've won, what next for you and your party, the PDP? Uh, well, um, we have won the election. Uh, already, uh, PDP is uh, on the seat of power in the state. I think uh, arrangement is on on transition. Uh, we're going to have a smooth transition. Uh, what we need to do is to look at uh, areas that uh, we've not been able to do well, and then see what we need to do to be able to uh, keep the state together. Uh, most importantly, uh, the unity of uh, Taraba State is very, very key and paramount. So in our transition plan, uh, that will be included to it to see how we can reach out to uh, every stakeholders to see uh, that we all work together as a team. All right. Uh, so for the sake of uh, sportsmanship, have you been able to reach out to your opponents for the task of governing the state? And also, the NNPP governorship candidate has decided to challenge your victory at the tribunal. How will you react to this? Uh, so far, um, a lot of uh, well-wishers have been trooping in to congratulate me, to wish me well, especially the youth and the women. So while that was uh, going on, um, uh, Senator Emmanuel Boacha, the candidate of the APC, uh, called me and congratulated me uh, on this uh, victory. Uh, for the other candidate, I was unable to reach them. But this evening, I sent an SMS to the candidate of the uh, SDP uh, to tell him that this victory is for NNPP. I have not received uh, governance, and uh, this uh, state is for all of us. Uh, we need to come together with our experience at this critical time 
to work for the betterment of our people. So I will make sure I reach out to all of them. All right. Uh, you know, most times our new governors abandoned the previous administration's project. So what should we expect from you after swearing in? Well, uh, for me, I'm a very different person. Uh, we are hit wastage. Uh, we we'll look at what uh, this administration have done, which I was also uh, part of it as a, I was a party chairman. So uh, I, I have insight of uh, areas to be able to uh, uh, make sure. Fantastic. Also, uh, some residents believe that uh, the PDP has not done enough for the state. Uh, so now that you're the governor elect, what assurances can you give the people on this? Well, just like I've always said, uh, governance is a continuous process. You can't uh, just finish everything in one year, in 18 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's a continuous thing. We'll look at those areas where the, they want us to affect their life. We'll look at them and see how we can uh, do that. I want to assure the people of Taraba State that uh, uh, there's going to be a very uh, massive uh, development and uh, improvement in everything that uh, is lacking behind. So they should be rest assured that this government is going to affect them directly. So let's just wait patiently to see what we're going to come up with. All right. I'll return to uh, Kefa Sagwe. I know you would agree with me that it's a different ball game when you're campaigning for votes and also a different ball game when you have the mandate. I would like you to tell us more about your plans for the people of Taraba State. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, governance is a serious business. Uh, we are talking about the life of uh, over 4 million people. Um, first and foremost, uh, in my agenda, uh, security is topmost. I uh, will make sure that uh, the place, Taraba, is very secure for the people to live in and also for investors to come in. And then just like I said earlier on, uh, the unity of our people cannot be compromised. So I have to ensure that uh, we are all united so that investors can be very confident to do business in Taraba. Then looking at the area of education, as I said during my campaign, the primary education, secondary education, Will be free. Uh, will be free and compulsory for all Taraba uh, citizens. So uh, these are things we want to do. We're going to make sure that we make the uh, school environment very conducive uh, for our children, so that they can get uh, good education. And then we will move into agriculture, where Taraba is an agricultural state. We will bring in all the experts that are going to help us in mechanized farming irrigation, uh, to see that uh, uh, farmers uh, get uh, lifted. And I believe that uh, we'll be doing that. While that will be ongoing, there'll be uh, some uh, developmental projects. I will try to improve on power. Uh, there are areas remote where they can access electricity. We'll try to see whether we can alternate it with uh, solar energy. So we'll look at all these things to see that uh, we uh, develop the state. And then we'll also look at uh, roads, linking roads to villages so that people can have access to the, the city and uh, villages and then to respond to any situation in a very uh, easy way for the people. By the grace of God, we'll try to make life easy for our people. All right, f fantastic. Now, of what you've mentioned, I would like to stay on security. It is a fact that uh, insecurity is still a big challenge in Taraba State. But as a retired soldier, how do you plan to address uh, this problem? Uh, first, uh, you have to understand that uh, Nigeria is faced with that. It's a big challenge. Uh, it's a nationwide uh, situation. Uh, coming down to Taraba, uh, the first thing is to initiate it from the uh, grassroots. Uh, security is a collective responsibility. Everybody has to get involved. So uh, we'll be able to uh, plan on timely intelligence and then to see how uh, the security agency can uh, respond to any security threat. 
uh, all we, it's all about uh, making the strategy and then uh, collaborating with uh, various security agencies. Our security ag agencies, especially the military, the police, the civil defense, the SSS and the rest, they are all well trained and they have the zeal to uh, respond to anything to keep this country. So uh, coming from that um, constituency, uh, I'll be able to uh, make very use of uh, my, my contact with them to sit down and work out the architecture that will keep us safe from every threat or any crime in the state. So uh, these are things I'm going to develop and then get fully involved in. I've done it before in the Niger Delta, and I believe that I will do better in my own state. All right. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, many residents fear that uh, the tea company in Kankara in the Mabila area could go under once uh, Governor Shako leaves office. Now that you're the governor-elect, what is your plan for Nigeria's sole tea production company? You know, the, the most important thing is... Uh, how you can lift people out of poverty, how you can create employment for people, create opportunity for the youth and the women. So the T is one key area that can do a lot to uh, solve this problem. So I don't see any reason why uh, I will abandon that or it will just go up. We're going to make sure we strengthen it and to make it more uh, better so that uh, we we'll get more uh, people employed and then people will be busy working. So I don't think we're going to allow that to go down. All right. Uh, retired Colonel Kefasabu, before we let you go, what is your message to the good people of Taraba State? Uh, uh, my message to the people of Taraba State is that we should continue to remain united as we are because there is no family in Taraba that you will not see Muslim, Christians, and even pagans. So we are one people. We should be united. We have strength in unity. Uh, let's, get, let's get our differences, uh, let's put them aside and come down and sit down and look at what our problem is and then let's move forward. And I want to assure you that I'm coming for peace. Uh, I'm coming to change the narrative. I'm coming to make things work. I'm coming to bring new life for the people. I'm coming to develop the state. I'm coming to make sure that our state is safe and uh, good for business, for investors. I'm bringing, uh, I'm going to create opportunity for the youth, uh, women, and uh, everybody in Taraba. And then even the people that are visitors can come and find a home in Taraba. So uh, this Taraba that they're talking about, uh, they should know that uh, it's going to, things are going to change. And all these tensions here and there, they're going to go down. That is my responsibility. Fantastic. All right, I've been speaking with the governor-elect of Taraba State, retired Colonel Kefas Agu, on the PDP's victory in the state and the challenge of governors. Congratulations once again, and we wish you the very best uh, in this uh, next phase of your political journey. Congratulations once again, and thank you for coming on Politics tonight. Thank you very much, and God bless you. I thank you very much for watching. That marks the end of today's episode of Politics Tonight. But the conversation continues from here. Get in touch with us on Twitter at TVC News NG and at Olajumoke O using the hashtag Politics Tonight. We are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. Join us for the repeat episode at midnight and tomorrow for another edition of Politics Tonight. Digging beyond the headlines. I am Olajumoke Olatunji. Goodbye.